Chelsea kick off a fulsome festive period with the visit of Brighton and Hove Albion to Stamford Bridge. This is the first of eight fixtures for the Blues between now and the end of the year, meaning it's likely to be a crucial, perhaps even defining period of the season. It is the second time Albion have come here this term after Chelsea's League Cup win in September. The Seagulls flew back from Greece on Thursday night, having booked their place in the knockout stages of the Europa League. Remains to be seen whether fatigue will be a factor for Roberto De Zerbi's depleted squad today. Chelsea are without Rhys James and Mark Kukurea, who are suspended. Cole Palmer is only fit enough for the bench. There are four changes in total from Newcastle last week. Levi Colwill and Moises Caicedo come in to face old friends, with Mikhailo Mudrik and Axel Tizazi also recalled. Dev squad members Bergs from Washington, Gilchrist and Matos all make the bench. As for Brighton, well, they are without a host of players. Lewis Dunk and Mahmoud Dahouda suspended with Lamptey and Ciso, Estupinan, Welbeck and Ansu Fati amongst the injured. Jason Steele gets the nodding goal. Former Blue Billy Gilmore lines up in midfield and Jack Hinselwood plays against the club for whom his great granddad made 14 appearances in the 1950s. In the three centre-halves, likely targets here. Badi Ashilu got there. Well, he's trying to bring it down. Did well to hook it over and it's headed in by Enzo Fernandez, who has his first Premier League goal. Oh, how he's waited for that moment. Chelsea take the lead and Enzo's off and running in the top flight. Yeah, not too dissimilar to the chance that just went begging a few moments ago. The corners worked to the far post. Badi Ashil, I think initially, the Chelsea player just can't quite reach to head that back towards the target, but he reacts brilliantly. Good awareness, holds off his player, and that ball over his shoulder, that's immaculate. Into prime position, just needs the touch. Queuing up, Colwell, Enzo Fernandez, and it's the latter who just nods it home. Oh, Jackson has unsettled Van Hecker. Into the penalty area, still he goes on, Jackson. Steele did something, but not really particularly effectively. And in the end, Enzo Fernandez almost scored twice in the space of two minutes. It'll just be a corner. This is good stuff from Chelsea now. Yeah, the step over and the little bit of skill is brilliant. I still think it can come in a little bit earlier here on his left foot, maybe. Takes another touch. Fernandez. Oh, that's a great way to pass. Sterling across the face of goal, and Dizazi would have had a tap in had Igor not got there. Chelsea really motoring now. Yeah, Hinchelwood's having a difficult time up against Raheem Sterling. He's in the mood. Again, he thumped it. Jackson got his head to it. Oh, and is that in? Cleared off the line first time. Goal given. Levi Colwell's first ever for Chelsea. It comes against the team he was with last season. But it means a great deal to the boy raised in Cobham to score at the shed end and make it Chelsea 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 0. What a start to this game. Two significant goal scorers. And Colwell will remember that as long as he lives. And what a period for Chelsea. I mean, you're not going to see two more similar goals. Back into the action here, Van Hecker on his best ever run of Premier League starts. This is four in a row for him. Oh, Gallagher's got to be careful. That's not a nice tackle. And winner Notte is down and in pain. Oh, he's caught him a little late. Maybe he treads on him to a degree. It's got to be a yellow card at worst. He has actually caught him, hasn't he, on his ankle. I don't think it's probably high enough or aggressive enough to warrant anything more than the yellow. Mudrik, clever, away from Veltman. This is where he can do his damage. Mikhailo Mudrik! Decent hit, that. Looking to score at Stamford Bridge again. Looking to make it three goals in three starts. All his own work, that. It was a brilliant little flick. Initially away from Veltman, good decision-making, I think, to drive and take the strike on. Adingra. 
Managed to work it through for Lalana. He's found Buenonote. Good numbers forward here for Brighton. Buenonote bends in a beauty. And Brighton are back in it with just a couple of minutes of the first half to go. Facundo Buenonote gives Robert Sanchez no chance whatsoever. And the 18-year-old halves the deficit. You've got to just admire the finish, really. Colwell, can he do a little better and maybe show him on the outside? Badio Shield coming across and he just angles it in between the two Chelsea defenders perfectly bending into that far corner. Mudrick on his bike. Oh, it's a really good ball and an excellent save from Steele as well. I think that might have been an own goal had it gone in. Fernandez, no room for a shot for him. Thiago Silva. Sterling, cleverly done. Caicedo! Oh, and Jackson at the near post couldn't steer it in. Again, yeah, I think a combination of, of Steele, Van Heck, and Jackson at the near post. There. This is the first time he's gone on the outside, Mudrick. Look at the contrast between him and Veltman. Just nearly crept past the left arm of Steele in the Brighton goal. It's a really good save. Both wide players have got the beating on the outside. Yes, at times you're going to have to come in field and link it, but Sterling and Mudrick, I think, up against these two fullbacks, only going to be one winner. Conor Gallagher's going to go off here. And it's all going wrong for Chelsea before half time. Did he need to make that challenge? You'd have to say no, he didn't in that area of the pitch. Having been booked, it was a huge risk. And Craig Pawson felt he had no option but to show a second yellow. And Chelsea will play the entirety of the second half with 10 men. Great take from Robert Sanchez. Just what his team needed there. And he releases it quickly. And here goes Sterling. Jackson ahead of him. Managed to find him as well. Here's Mudrick now. Brilliant counter-attack. Mikhailo Mudrick or Milner challenged him. Chelsea say penalty. Steele is down. Mudrick is convinced, Craig Pawson wasn't. Over to you, Jared Gillett in Stockley Park. It's a really good counter-attack. I wanted Mudrick actually to, to move in the opposite direction. He stayed central, he's found wonderfully well by Jackson. His touch was actually really good. It's a bit clumsy, you know. Well, VAR are reviewing it. Milner just onto the pitch. Just trying to shepherd Mudrick out of the play. Is there a touch with the leg? That's probably what they're looking at. It has been given. Fernandez against Steele then. 3 1 Chelsea, no problem. Straight down the middle, straight beyond Steele. Enzo at the double, Chelsea with a two-goal cushion. Yeah, cool spot kick, looks like he just calmly slots it down the middle, tries to take that jeopardy out of it. Didn't get any height on it, so taking a slight risk, but nice firm contact. Here's Mitoma. Sent the crossover. Paddy Ashield got it away. Troyer couldn't get there ahead of Van Heck. Here's Gross, going to have a go himself, Pascal Gross. Really good save, Robert Sanchez. Big strong hand to tip it around the post for a corner as we go into 10 minutes of stoppage time. Oh, that's gone in. Brighton have got another goal back. And it's game on now. Not sure we've got the key touch to that. Might even have been an own goal. Well, it's going to be a nervy eight minutes plus now, that's for sure. João Pedro taking the acclaim. It's 3-2. And there's still an awful lot of stoppage time to go. Let's see who got the telling touch. It was João Pedro. Beautiful header, actually. Milner looking for the give and go with João Pedro. Well, Pedro hangs on to it instead and goes for goal and Sanchez makes the save. Yeah, that's really got to be struck there, fizz towards the far post. He didn't quite get 
Enough power on the strike, Jao Pedro. Sanchez goes early to his left, clutches it. Two Brighton players bearing down on him. Just didn't quite catch it with loads of venom. Space out wide right here for Edingra. Edingra's cross comes off, Colwell goes behind for another corner. Or does it? He's pointed for a penalty. It looks as though he pointed to the spot there, Craig Paulson. Has he? It was not particularly clear from the referee. Levi Colwell penalised. It is a penalty for now. Colwell saying it came off his face. It has hit his face, hasn't it, from that angle? Well, there you go. It hits him in the face. The referee's assistant can see that. This is absolute nonsense that this is still going on. This is an easy decision to overturn. Well, the Brighton supporters are cheering because they thought he'd given a penalty, but he hasn't. He's given the corner. Brighton not finished yet. Come on, referee, blow your whistle. Finally, the game is over. And Chelsea have claimed a brilliant victory against Brighton. For the second time this season, the Seagulls are seen off at Stamford Bridge. This one had everything. Enzo Fernandez, first Premier League goal. He got two of them in the end. Levi Colwell with his first Chelsea goal. Conor Gallagher sent off. VAR penalties given and not given. A crazy game in lots and lots of ways. But Chelsea have beaten Brighton and Hove Albion. We haven't heard the last of it. Final score here, Chelsea 3, Brighton and Hove Albion 2.